I'll introduce you. Okay. Well, so we're on live. Okay, so what you've got there is you've got the, you can see the red dot that says we're live. And then that number there, if you can see it, zero. That means there's nobody watching at the minute. Yeah. And then that thumbs up is when people give a thumbs up. But usually we're a little bit behind. So I think people will be watching. And in a moment, that number will start climbing. Yeah. So what I normally do is I start talking for a little bit and I let yeah. some people join. Yeah. And then as soon as people real, real, realize that while that says naught, nobody's listening at all. Not right uh, now, no. So no. we can say anything think we like yeah. but what usually happens is people will then come in they'll, they'll all arrive in a bunch and then suddenly it'll yeah, jump up I and it'll see. say that there's 30 but we don't start watching. talking any sense until it says one no we is don't need right? to start talking sense yet anyway so where, where have you where have you come from <laughs> I, I, I need to save that don't i no well I've been the thing is again, as well so this video will then go oh, on YouTube, i see and people, and can, people watch, can then watch it from the they beginning can, they can watch so we can start talking sense we've got we've got one person hello hello greetings ladies and gentlemen i'll do an introduction and then you can and then I'm going to explain what just happened because I enjoyed the fact that you accosted me about my number plate. <laughs> That's what I do. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show. I am live in the Renault 10 with Jonathan. This is my first of probably many lives today, so keep checking the channel. See, it's jumped up. We've got 50 people watching Greetings. Now. Nice to talk to I've you. Just been, I've just got arrived, really, and I'm setting my car up, and I've got the front open, and I'm sorting some stuff out, and I've put some signs on it and some mugs. And this lovely bloke here, Jonathan, has come up to me, and he's accosted me, saying, what's with the number plate, basically? But Jonathan Del Mar has literally written the book on number plates. That was your big introduction. I suppose it was. David Simister of Classic Car Weekly, he calls me the guru of number plates. The guru and of I number plates. And I suppose, plates. in a way, I don't want to be too immodest, but I have published here the Bible. Once I published something about the Bible, then somebody said, are you the Pope? That was a bit embarrassing. Oh, right. I had to climb back rapidly from that one. Yeah. But this is the Bible of number plates, and I can show you your number plates. So yeah. this is, this is, Look, we have two. This one is 1963 to 74. That's my car on the front. And I've just published brand new volume two, 1974 to 2001. This is the complete compendium of all the number plates in the country, telling you which exactly which numbers were issued by which councils, which counties, which towns, which offices, and most importantly, which ones are original and which ones were issued by the DVLA as age-related plates later. So I came up to this nice fellow whose name is... I'm Jeff. Jeff. I came up to Jeff and hoped that he didn't think his number plate was original because I knew immediately it was issued by the DVLA last year. Exactly. And he said uh, it was imported from South Africa. Fair enough, that's fine. What I'm always hoping is not to hear that they didn't know it was, wasn't the original plate, that somebody, the previous owner, sold off the original plate, ah. which is part of the car's history, it is. sold it off for a couple of hundred pounds, and then left the poor car to be given a bogus new number by the DVLA. And my car, my books, sort out the sheep from the goats. So we'll take this car now as an example. So MCY 509, isn't it? G? MCY 509 G is okay, the number. So the CY, the last two letters of the three, tell you where normally, in traditionally tell you where the car came from. So MCY, CY is Swansea. Nothing to do with the fact that Swansea is DVLA, just coincidence. Yeah. Uh, the DVLA happened to use this block, which is traditionally, as I said, a Swansea block. MCY, we look up Swansea in the book and we find that the original uh, series with a G suffix were OWN, PCY, PWN, RCY, RWN, and SCY and SWN. Not MCY at all. For that, we look down here, re-registrations, MCY up to 148, and then DVLA 501 to 510. So you can see that it's a current number plate, therefore, although it's an age correct number plate, it wasn't issued in period. Precisely. You Do you know what? It's really, put really that absolutely encapsulated it, perfectly. It's really boring, but it's absolutely <laughs> fascinating. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those subjects. Well, it is, can be very absorbing. Yeah, and to know whether your car does have the original number plate or not is something of great importance to many classic car owners. Can we can we do another one? Can we do my BMW that I arrived in today? Go on then. Yep. So that number. is VN O uh, five. VWR. No, this is after. This is. Oh, oh you've not gone that after, new, after, ah, after 2001. It's all a jumble of letters. Okay, let's do, don't mean anything to anyone. In that case, let's do my Volvo. Up to 2000, anything up to 2001. P257. Yeah. XJO. Peter, that's an original number from Oxford. Yeah. That's in my volume two, of course. Yes, it would um, be. Uh, uh, 1974 to 2001. P. 
Okay, here's the piece. Sorry, by the way, this is my Volvo 850 TDI that is not on the road at the moment, but I need to do some work on to get it back on for a big road trip. Original so. number. I hope it's got an original plate and not one of these horrible Charles Wright. Charles Wright is the inventor, inventor of the new font. Yes. That all the standard, it's the standardized 21st century font. Yeah. All new cars have. And sadly, many classic car owners are buying new pieces of metal, number plates, with their original number, but a number plate, a new plate, yeah. which is in this horrid font, which is so ugly. What year and did that font? change over about uh, two th about um, God, no, about 1990 I think it came in just it's late 90s it's late 90s yeah. I can't put a date on it I'm sorry to say but I think it's 2001 you know because I think during why I think what, it started during Y prefix. I think you're probably right. So what I did with my Volvo is because it was the original plate T P two five seven XJO. Yeah. What I did yeah. was I went to university down in Falmouth in Cornwall. Yeah. And in Falmouth, there's a BMW dealership that sits right on the water. It's yeah. beautiful and it's called Ocean BMW. But what I wanted was in my fantasy world, it was Ocean Volvo. So I had a plate made in the correct font. Uh, well done. The correct '90s font, and I had well Ocean done. Volvo Falmouth put on the bottom of it. Oh, that's so nice. Eagle-eyed yeah. view. Viewers will know that will the know. JO is Oxford, but the Falmouth doesn't tie up. It doesn't so it exist. Can't be the original number. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But we have an original number. Anything between TBW and all the way around to the end of the alphabet, that's YBW, and ABW to KBW, that's virtually the whole alphabet, but yeah. not L to S. Yeah. So yours is. P V J O P two five seven X J O X J O. So anything after T B W. Yeah. B W F C J O U D W L. Those are the codes for Oxford. Yeah. Okay. So anything between T B W and Y W L, and then yeah. they started again at A B W and got up to K B W. Yeah. So about half the alphabet. So X J O is an original one, and I should think it would be about October, maybe yeah. November. Yeah. That's probably about yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I so think that's an original number. I think it's a September the, car. So if you that had makes an age-related plate from Oxford, it would be KBW or KWL, KUD, KFC. Start with a K, basically. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of there's a lot of Volvos of that age <laughs> from Oxford because Oxford were doing. I think they were issuing their fleet cars and doing their prep. That's why. There and they were yeah. a lot of them were registered there. Right. So you find yeah. a lot of Volvo 850s and 940s that are uh -huh. on. XJO or KJO number plates because yeah. they all came from there. Oh, I see. It's quite Very interesting. interesting. Isn't it? Yeah, there's one strange thing about Volvo and number plates. You know, there's something actually unique about Volvo and number plates, and this goes back into the 60s. They traditionally often had, and I'm thinking, where am I going to find this? Yes, I'm going to find this here under Bolton. They often had little tiny, I don't know where you can see, it's not a very good picture. Yeah. They often had little tiny plates with a curved corners yeah. that fit exactly into the recess at the back of a Volvo. And that shape of plate with the rounded corners and trimmed right close to the digits, yeah. is only Volvos had that. Right. And I'd love to know the history of that, why they decided to, to do, do that, and yeah. how they managed to get a plate manufacturer to do that only for Volvos. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know. It but was. I've got a not very good picture of it. No, you can't. You won't be able to see that. I don't think you'll be able to see that. But it's the top. It's the top right one. Is that right? Or are we looking in a mirror? Uh, I, you, it's that, that. Yeah, there you go. It's the it's Volvo that three, one. 340 just that there. one. So there we go. It's actually got one of those. So if, if people want to find your books, Jonathan, where do they buy them? Can they buy them on the internet? They can find them. David Thomas Motoring Books sells them. Yeah. Um, other dealers, my publisher, G.H. Smith. Yeah. G.H. Smith in Yorkshire, they sell them. I sell them personally on my email, which I can tell you, J-R-D-M, J-R-D-M dot Oakwood at gmail.com. J-R-D-M dot Oakwood, it's the name of our house. Yeah. At gmail.com and I will send you one for a special deal. Luke Davis says, sounds like an interesting <clears throat> book to read. Great. Uh, and someone says, I'm what's this? I from you. Someone says, what's this? I see no anoraks. Yes. No, no anoraks. <laughs> no. It is a bit anorak. -y. It's niche. It's very but niche. It yeah. is not just crazy. It is actually a work of scholarship. It's a serious work that sets out to be completely um, um, completely encyclopedic. And it's a part of motoring history. And it's, it it's exactly. a part of motoring history that applies to every single vehicle that's at this show. That's right. I once had a, a lemon from the MG car club. They said there's not enough about MGs in it. I replied, there's every single MG <laughs> is in here because there isn't an MG without a number plate. Yeah. And you need to know whether that those numbers are original or not. Brilliant. Good. Right. Thank you very much right. for the chat. That's it, everybody. Nice that, to talk to you all. That was the first <laughs> live broadcast of... Oh, hang on. Someone is saying... I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, here's, here's one interesting one from Harry Smith. Yeah, My, oh, this is one yeah, for you. Yeah, PGK. That's quite interesting. PGK, 666, the number of the beast. Yeah. Now, so that's an interesting number, 666. They stopped using that after G prefix.
prefix. Did they? The last 666s six, 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 six were G prefix. After that, it's the number of the beast, and they withdrew them, and you couldn't have it any longer. That's 1990. Go. So, PGK666Y was an original number from London South West. It's one of the last, because they, they ended at PGO. Right. So it's July 83, isn't it? Yeah, July 83, original number. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, Any more questions? G Y C, a nice original number from Somerset. They got up to K Y C, I remember, and they started at G Y A. So it's probably all. Oh no, it comes to January, isn't it? It's January or February '66. Original number from Somerset. Yeah. Very nice. There don't sell it. <laughs> don't don't. Sell. So um, I was going to ask you a question then, but I forgot. Okay. Oh, here's my question. Yeah. What was the very last? TGS five six one R. That's a Luton registration original. Oh, we're coming thick and fast. I Catch know, you, you'll original, be here all day now. Original Cardiff number, that's fine. Be, buy a nice one. They don't issue, that was B-U-Y, that's Worcestershire. Original number, they don't issue now any uh, any three-letter combinations that make a word. Do they so not? So it's not like B-U-Y, they just skip it over because they think it's worth money. So they hold it back and then they put They're, them in the DVLA auction. Exactly that. That's right. Got yeah. you. B-U-Y 95W, lovely number. Okay, we've got GTA GTA and original. GTA, I'm pretty sure that's original. It's an Exeter number of Devonshire, of course. GTA, God, it's GTA, I think it is. Let me look, GTA Y. Yeah, Hod was the last. Yep, that's an original. Okay, last question before we wrap up. <laughs> what was the last number plate issued before we moved to the two digit two number format? Well, you, well there's one for each place. Right, okay, you yeah. are. Okay, got you. <laughs> so, name Could me a place. Let's say, where are we Worcestershire. now? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay, Worcester. The last number with a Y prefix is what you mean. Yeah. Y six six two C U Y. C U Y. So if you could find that car, you could find the that very would be the last number plate issued in Worcester before the new system. Interesting. Yeah, there you are. Have you got a favourite number plate? Uh, my favourite number plate. Oh golly, um, isn't that interesting? Yeah, I think my favourite number plate is L D Y one H because L they. Uh, this is Hastings in nineteen seventy. They got as far as KDY, they were finishing KDY, and they finished KDY 999 July the 30th, and they just needed one more to the end of the year before Jay started, and they issued LDY 1H. Right. And that was the only one. That's fascinating. And after that, they're all re-registrations. Any LDY with so, an H, and re only one. So there was the no one. LDY 2H, it never happened. Well, it happened on re-registration. Oh, on re-registration. plates. They got up to about 11 or something. Brilliant. And then the Jays started at, I think, 51. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad you came up to me to talk about my number plate today. Well, thank and you. And I think everybody who's watching really enjoyed that video. I look forward to hearing from you all. Anybody who wants a book or wants to just chat on email about yep. your original number, I'll tell you all about the history of your number plate. What's that? WME87G. That's an original number from London, but golly, from memory, they're really complicated. WME, I have a feeling it's northeast, but we can find this. WME with a G, WME, it's not, it's central. It's central London. There you go, central yeah. London. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, uh, Jonathan will be here all day if I don't let him go. So thank <laughs> you for all your comments. And th that was part one, and then we'll find someone else to interview for part two. But that was a brilliant start to the day. Great pleasure, Jeff. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Take and care. I wish you a successful day. <laughs> Cheers. And I look forward to hearing from you all. Now, can you find the door handle? That's Can the I... question. You've got to pull at the top there. Amazing. There we go. Oh, it's getting warm right. here. It, it thank is, you, Jonathan. It? Thank you, Jeff. Wonderful, everybody. That was brilliant. All the best. Bye.